Hello and welcome Taurus. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so this is going to be for my Taurus singles out there. So in case this isn't what you're looking for, this isn't going to resonate with you or your situation, I do have two other videos coming out this week. And it's going to be for those of you who are in relationships and for the other ones who are in separation, who are wondering about a reconciliation or what's going to happen from there. All right. So now keep in mind, this is a general reading. This is energy, so take it how it resonates for your situation and leave the rest behind. So now Taurus, what is going on for my singles? What's going to be coming in here? This is a 10 card spread, so I will try to get everything to where you guys can see it. Um, it's just kind of difficult, but I will do my best. All right, Taurus singles, what is going on? All right, so for a lot of you, it feels like you're kind of wondering where things are going. It's like you've been, hmm, it's like you've really been kind of tapping into your intuition. Um, again, just trying to figure things out, you know, wondering like, is this the right time? It feels like something about timing um, for you guys, Taurus. That's like the main thing I'm getting right off the bat. So, all right, now to get into the reading, um, you know, why haven't you found your person yet? Why haven't you found that person that, you know, you're wanting to settle down with? And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is talking about time. I am getting something around fall time for some of you. Um, this is talking about planting those seeds and things coming into fruition. So definitely that would be explain the reason I was getting timing. It's, you know, timing is a big factor. It's just not time yet. Um, think, like I said, seeds have been planted, but it takes time for things to grow. Um, it's not quite time for the harvest yet. It's not time for you to meet your person. Um, it's almost like I keep getting a lot of learning experience. Um, this could be just from the people you're dating, things like that. It's like, now you know what it is that you're looking for, what you're not looking for, what, you know, kind of person you want to settle down with, you know, things like that. It's like you're learning a lot about yourself in this process. And the whole process of dating is what I keep getting with this card. So now, um, how do we overcome this? How do we overcome just kind of waiting, you know, being patient with this, you know, and then that's the ace of swords, you know, that's taking action. That's, um, being proactive. That's, you know, still putting yourself out there, you know, communicating with people, um, you know, still dating. Like I said, this feels like a learning process. This really kind of feels like you are learning a lot about yourself. Um, like I said, what it is that you want, what you're looking for, um, like your love language is what I keep getting is what you're learning. And, you know, you're learning a lot about other people too. Um, you know, how to respond to other people, what they want. You know, it's just like, I keep getting this whole big learning experience, which I mean, I know, you know, that's kind of the whole idea of dating for everybody, but it's like, you know, Taurus, this is like your main thing for you. Um, is a lot of you are just figuring out what it is that you want. So now how do we overcome this? Like I said, you just, you know, be proactive. You know, patience is a virtue. It does feel like, you know, this person that you're waiting for, um, time is playing a big factor in this. But it's also saying to me that, you know, divine timing kind of works in mysterious ways. Um, when it's time, you're going to know. You're going to get that aha moment and everything's going to kind of come into clarity. It's going to make sense. Like, that's why, you know, at the time I just wasn't ready. There was so much more I needed to learn, so much more I needed to do. And now, now I can settle down with this person. Now it's the right time. Now things are falling into place. It's all about, you know, things just kind of falling into place. Like I said, you know, timing here. Um, so now what can you do to meet your person? The Empress, again, learn what it is that you want. You know, this is talking about knowing your worth. It's like a lot of you really kind of put yourselves out there to kind of take care of others um, or to really make sure that you're giving everybody else what they want and not really getting what you want in return. Um, it's like a lot of you, I keep getting self-sacrificing. 
So it's like a lot of you are kind of going above and beyond for someone else, um, for, you know, like a partnership or something, making sure somebody else is happy, taking care of them, nurturing them. But it's like, who's doing that for you? Because I'm not getting a whole lot of equal give and take here. And I think that's, like I said, what you're learning. You're learning that that's what you want. This is something that, you know, you are learning about yourself. And like I said, it really kind of feels like that self-love, that self-worth is playing a big role in this. You know, it's like a whole new you kind of, you know, coming out. Um, because like I said, it's just like this big vision of what it is that you want, that you're really getting light up. You're really able to see clearly now is what I keep getting. So now how are you going to know that it's your person? How are you going to know them? Because you're going to feel that spark. You have that connection. It's just like you know their love language. They know yours. It's like you have that connection almost right off the bat is what I keep getting. Um, lots of love, lots of emotions. It's like things just flow really freely. Um, things happen rather, I don't want to say quickly, but just easily. It's like it's... I mean, all relationships are at work, of course, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's like things just really kind of flow with this person. It's like, you know, it's almost kind of effortless, you know, it's just really easy for you. It's like, you know, this bond, we don't have to work at it. We don't have to wait for it. It's like, it's just there. Like I said, you know, the right timing, it feels like things have fallen into place and it's just like, you can vibe with this person. You can just it's almost like you guys are just vibing back and forth and almost like feeding off of each other's energy. It's just like, you know, it's just flowing, free flowing. That's the only thing I can explain this as It's just absolutely flowing just easily, you know, um, very lovingly. All right. So now where are you going to find this person? So <laughs> it almost feels like I said, with everything going on with, um, you know, divine timing kind of playing a role in this, it feels like this person is really your wish fulfillment. It really kind of feels like you are calling this person in. It feels like, um, like I said, just that wish fulfillment, almost like I keep getting like the star card in my head because it feels like it's kind of written in the stars. It just feels like this person is bringing a great deal of happiness into your situation. Um, this could really kind of feel, for a lot of you, it's like when you're feeling really good, you're just like feeling yourself, you're at the top of your game, you know, things are going good, things are flowing for you. It's like that's when you come um, and you meet your person. That is, you know, when, you know, things kind of come in, um, you know, full circle. And it's like that's when you meet your person is when everything is feeling right, everything is flowing. And like I said, you are feeling yourself and you are at the most happiest um, this really has a lot to do with your guys's way of thinking uh, sending out positive vibes putting that out into the universe is definitely um, a major role here you know major key here for you know calling in your person calling in the soulmate <clears throat> so definitely keep that in mind all right. So now your hopes for this relationship is a six of cups. You want that long term. You want kids with this person. You want that family with this person. You want this to be a soulmate connection. You want this to be a very powerful connection. Almost like, you know, I have known you. It feels like I've known you my entire life. Now, for some of you, this is kind of wanting someone from your past or this is wanting, um, possibly even like a childhood friend or someone you've known for a long time or you've had a deep connection with you know it's like you've already met this person for some of you for others of you this is just wanting to put down like the uh, the roots to start that family with so beautiful though you want that soulmate connection you know what you're looking for and you're ready to move on you're tired of just dating like you want that connection like you want that person who is the one all right. So now guidance and tips that I have to offer you is the king of swords. Make sure you are bringing, you know, truth to the table. Make sure you are seeing things for what they are. Make sure you are um, taking action towards things. You know, if there's a situation or a relationship, a person you're not vibing with, you know, it's like you're going to have to cut those ties. If you know it's not for you, why stay in that situation? Why be miserable? Cut those ties and move forward you know, move on, do this for you. <clears throat> because for a lot of you, it kind of feels like you're kind of holding your own self back. It's like you're not, I keep getting that somebody's not being honest with themselves. So like I said, this could be with the people that you're meeting. Um, but it's like, you're just, you're not being honest with yourself. There's something else that, you know, is out there for you. 
<clears throat> and it's not even, you know, is the grass green or on the other side? Yeah, it just feels like, you know there's something more. You know this isn't it. So it's like, for some of you, you're really going to have to look inside. You're really going to have to be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. You know, the person that you want. So for some of you, there's still going to be, you know, a few people along the way that, like I said, you're going to have to make these calls about, these decisions about. You know, if they're not for you, you're not vibing. You know, something isn't quite clicking with you. It's just not right. It doesn't fully feel right. You know, you're not fully, madly, deeply, wholeheartedly in love with this person, you know, and it's just not working out. Why keep trying? You know, um, just, you know, cut ties, move forward. And I think that's kind of a big thing for you guys because you guys don't want to give up so easily. It's like you want to keep working towards things, but at the same time, it's like you're just only kind of holding your own self back by trying to appease everybody else, but not make yourself happy. It's like, Taurus, what do you want? What's going to make you happy? And that's kind of what the Empress is talking about, too, is, you know, coming into that self-worth, <clears throat> you know, that rebirth, you know. Um, I keep getting, I know this isn't exactly the card, but kind of like the Phoenix rising from the ashes, you know, coming out of some past kind of harsh relationships or, you know, some past... Um, um, kind of harsh realizations of, you know, wanting to move forward. Like I said, getting past, you know, the past, putting that behind you, moving forward, just thinking to yourself, like, I know what it is that I want. I can't keep, you know, making sure everybody else is happy when I'm completely miserable. So, because, you know, ultimately you're going to end up hurting both of you. All right. So, now, with um, your first impression of this person that's going to be coming in, we do have the Ten of Wands. So, <laughs> um, I'm getting that you could see this person as a very hardworking, um, very stubborn kind of person. Um, almost kind of a loner type. And I think that's what kind of catches your eye because, Taurus, it kind of feels like you internally feel the same way. Like maybe, you know, outside you're trying to put yourself out there, you're, um, you know, friendly, you're um, fun, you're, you know, out there, you're very outgoing type of personality. But it's like on the inside, it kind of almost feels like some of you just don't quite feel like you belong in with certain people or in situations. Like I keep getting like somebody feels like they don't belong. And it's like this person kind of catches your eye because they're kind of acting the same way or kind of showing the same, you know, things that you do. It's just like, you know, they're trying, but they're kind of a loner. It's like they're, but I keep getting, like I said, hardworking, which, you know, you, of course, Doris, you're very hardworking too. Um, hmm. But yeah, but it's also like this person is really in search of something. And Taurus, I think that's what really kind of guides you to them is because it feels like you're really in search of something as well. Because it just feels like you both are so overburdened, um, both having a really hard time. Yeah, it, it feels like you both kind of had a hard time kind of vibing with anybody else. Like I said, I just get this strong feeling like somebody really kind of feels like they don't belong. <clears throat> and that's just kind of what, you know, catches your eye or catches, you know, that vibe or, you know, something um, but now your common bond, yeah, it's like both of you tend to be very cautious. You have those walls up, you're trying to protect yourself, but at the same time, you know, you're doing like this whole rebirth, you know, type of situation, this, um, you know, regrowth of something here, you know, trying to plant seeds, trying to see the positive, um, in certain situations, you're coming out from certain situations, I should say. It's like you're trying to get past the walls. You know, you just want to get past any trust issues that you've had. You want to let down that wall, that guard. All right, so now with your outcome or any advice or anything left um, is the Queen of Cups. So this Queen of Cups, you know, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She is okay with being vulnerable with, you know, telling people how she feels with opening up, you know, she knows she's taking a chance on getting hurt. Um, and I say she, because I'm referring to the energy on the card, but you know, it could be male or female. Um, however, she's, she knows she's, you know, taking that chance on getting hurt, you know, by putting herself out there emotionally, 
but you know, it doesn't matter. She's putting herself out there because she does find love. She has, you know, feelings and she wants to express them. Um, is she taking a chance? Yes. You know, does it bother her? Maybe, but she's going to do it anyway. She's going to take action because like I said, she knows what she wants. She knows her worth and she wants love. She wants someone who's going to be open with her as well. She wants that same, um, you know, mutual understanding and respect. So it does look like there's going to be, you know, a lot of communication, a lot of emotions, a lot of, you know, feelings, expressions. It's like where some things were once kind of covered. It's like a lot of things kind of come out. Um, I don't know what that means, but it's going to make sense to somebody because it really kind of feels like somebody's been burying their emotions or not acknowledging them or just kind of hiding them or not even feeling that emotional, you know, towards um, the people that they've been with or dating. It's just like there's just some kind of connection or something is missing. And it's like with this person, you find that connection that's been missing and you're able to really kind of open up. You find your other half is what I keep getting. So... All right. Well, Taurus, that is what I have for you. For all my singles out there, I hope this helps your situation. Um, again, if this one isn't for you, it's not resonating. resonating um, definitely check out the other two videos that are going to be out this week. Hopefully those will help or give you at least more insight into your situation. So until then, everybody, take care.